Hey Scribe Bosses, welcome back to another Victoria Marie Process video. Hey, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. When you do, click the bell indicator, that way you'll know each and every time I post a new video to this channel. How about we look at making a themed scrapbook page? Not only am I making a theme page, they're using this really cute Happy Easter kit. This is by Laura Passage and Nicole Settler. I am making an eight and a half by 11 double page spread. What? All of you two pagers out there, I think will love this. So I have this kit and what I did was I brought in some things from my stash. So I got some really fun, colorful stickers, which I went ahead and worked out my font stickers for my title and I have them all set and ready to go. My title is going to read Easter fun. By the way, I'll have all the products available products and linked down in the description box below. I'm also using some Allie Edwards materials. This is from the craft your story kit. I think that's what it's called. And in the kit, we get some chipboard pieces and I haven't been using these kits lately. So I thought I would use these little chipboard pieces on this layout. Here's the sticker sheet from the little paper pack kit. And I've pulled some of the stickers off already. And I've taken a powder tool and dulled the sticky on the back because that allows me to move the elements around the page as I was planning my overall design. So there goes my little powder tool there and it's a little container, that little container I got from a friend's bookstore not too long ago. So I just go ahead and put that powder right directly on my sticker. It turns it into a die cut and then I can just kind of move it around on the page as I wish. For this layout, I'm using a lot of photos. So I think I have seven photos on the spread. The main photo is this four by six photo. That's of me and my little family. And then the other photos of, of, are of my daughter. Let me get that out. <laughs> the other photos are of my daughter who's participating in our Easter egg hunt that was hosted by one of our HOA committees in our subdivision. We have a brand new subdivision and all of us who live in the subdivision have brand new homes and we're all trying to get to know each other. And a part of this Easter egg hunt includes not only the kids hunting for candy filled eggs, but us getting to meet our neighbors in the community. So that was really nice. So to start this eight and a half by 11 two page spread, I cut down two 12 by 12 pattern pieces of paper to eight and a half by 11. I also cut some strips of pattern paper, that little gingham pattern paper, which is adorable. And then I also trimmed down some solid, heavy white cardstock that I purchased from Joann's. It's their store brand. This is really good white cardstock. I really like it. I don't know about you, but I'm really particular about the type of white cardstock that I use. And so anytime that I can find a store brand that's of really good quality, then I want to snatch it up. And this one's really good. So I've trimmed it down a little bit under eight and a half by 11 so that I can see that pattern paper um, as a border. Next up, I'm going to grab this multicolor gingham pattern. It's so pretty, all those beautiful, bright, sunny Easter colors. By the way, the spring is my favorite season. So I had a ton of fun creating this really themed layout about Easter because of course it allowed me to use all these really bright colors. So I'm gonna bring in my first photo, which is a four by six photo of my family and I. And I'm gonna go ahead and hear that there to the top. And that strip of gingham pattern paper will then serve as an anchor for that photo. Now I wanna go ahead and lay down my title. I'm using two thicker fonts. I think the first one's called Lucky Ones, that little colorful one. And then the white one I believe is called Cheerful. That could be the other way around, but I'll try to post the link down below to both of these font styles if they are still available. So the reason why I like using two different font styles is because it brings a lot of interest to a layout. Plus it's just fun. I like the delineation between the words and sometimes I'll more than likely use either two or three different font styles to create a fun title. And of course, this is a great way to use up your font stickers. All right, the rest of the photos I printed at three by three, and I get a lot of questions about how I resize my photos. Very simple. I use an app called PicFrame, and you can find it both for Android and for um, iOS phones. So make sure you check that out. I'll post the link down below if you're interested in that. It's really easy to use. All you have to do is use one of the available templates. You upload your photo to the template, you save it to your phone, and then you can print it or you can social share if you want to. So I've been using this app for a very long time, probably about five or six years now, and I absolutely love it. All right, so I did a small cluster of photos there at the bottom, overlapping those two three by three four photos. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in more stickers. So the first sticker that I brought in was the sticker that's on the top of that right photo, and that's a little set of Easter eggs. It's actually the offcut of a piece of border that I'm gonna use on the second page, and you'll see that here in a second. I also added a label sticker that says, 
all dressed up along with a little Easter egg and a die cut from that alley, not, I'm sorry, a chipboard circle from the Allie Edwards uh, little set that I showed you earlier. And it says April. And I think I'm gonna add a little flower to that little Easter egg at the bottom as well. Next up, I'm creating a cluster that's gonna overlay on that four by six photo there at the top. So I took one of the flower stickers, of course, all the stickers, I uh, took off the sticky <laughs> with my powder tool because of course I wanted to position them on my layout before I actually committed. So now I'm adding adhesive back onto those stickers. So I went ahead and laid down the flower. On the opposite side, on the right side, I'm going to add this little Easter egg. There's tons and tons of little Easter eggs in this little sticker sheet. I'm also adding in a cute little striped heart that I'm gonna go ahead and mount up with a foam square. So anytime you wanna add dimension to a layout, bust out those foam squares. And especially if you're using a lot of a of a similar element. So I'm using a ton of stickers on this layout, mainly because I wanna get it used up. I have a tendency to work with a paper collection that may have stickers or work with a scrapbook kit and then not use up all the elements. And so I try to do that as much as I can. Plus with this being a themed layout, I wanted everything on this layout to scream Easter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and commit to that little cluster there at the bottom, adhering the little Easter egg. And this is why I like dulling or taking the sticky off of my stickers because it allows me to lay it down. I can move it around the layout and make some design decisions without sticking it directly to my layout and then pulling it up, which is usually how I roll. <laughs> so I, sometimes I don't learn from those mistakes. I'm also wanting to pop up some of these elements as well. So that label that says all dressed up, I want that to be popped up so it can lay nicely over that photo. And then I'm gonna add that chipboard piece that says April and it just worked out perfectly with this paper kit. Now I'm gonna go back to the sticker sheet. I'm gonna add even more stickers. So I'm gonna add a little flower to that Easter egg, just kind of filling out these clusters. And then I have this cute little birdie. Normally I don't use animals on my layouts, even theme layouts, but it's Easter, so why not? I decided to go ahead and do that. I have this other sticker that says happy. I felt that I needed something in that white space. Um, there's a little bit of white space between my daughter's head and my spouse's head and above my, my mom's head. So I decided to add that little happy sticker there. And it gives a little bit of direction, draws your eye straight to that photo. Here comes another little birdie. I'm gonna go ahead and put her down at the bottom adding a little bit of foam square so that she can pop up and have a tiny bit of presence there on the layout. And then uh, before I 100% commit to sticking her down, I'm gonna add a little Easter egg behind her because she needed a little anchor. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put a cute little Easter egg right behind her, that little yellow Easter egg with flowers. By the way, that little camera that you see me putting the backings of my little uh, foam squares on, that was a gift from one of my um, retreat guest and I don't know where she got that from I get questions about that little camera all the time so I need to ask her if I can find out I'll, I'll let you guys know all right so working on sheet number two or page number two again much like the first one I'm going to go ahead and tear down the white solid cardstock then I'm going to add the strip of pattern paper there at the bottom that's going to serve as an anchor for another cluster of embellishments, which you'll see here in just a second. And then I also wanna make sure that I leave room for my journaling. So I added some Tombow Mono to that strip, got that all here down. Now I'm gonna work on my photos. Again, these photos are trimmed down three by three using my Pick Frame app. Two of the photos I'm gonna pop up with a little bit of fun foam. Thus, those same photos I also have backed against some pattern paper. Now, I could have backed all the photos with pattern paper, but I like to have a little variation on my layout. So sometimes I will do a particular treatment to one or two photos or elements on the layout and then nothing on the other elements, just to add a bit of variation there. All right, so both of those photos were temporarily adhered to the pattern paper because when I was working out this layout, I wanted to make sure that I liked it. So now I'm gonna add some permanent adhesive. And those are all my photos of my kiddo grabbing all the Easter eggs, the kids, there were no shortage of eggs <laughs> for any of the kids. They all filled their baskets and then some. For my kid in particular, she had eggs just flowing out of her Easter basket. Um, she's had her little Easter basket ever since she was born. And um, I love how every year she just still is very excited about the prospect of getting Easter eggs. Now the day of Easter, what we usually do is give her money eggs. And so she'll have eggs in her Easter basket with uh, a dollar bill or $5 as she can use that money however she wishes. 
Also, I'm just remembering this. So in addition to her Easter egg money, she got tooth fairy money because she lost a tooth as well <laughs> the day before. So she cleaned up this Easter season. Alrighty, so to the bottom, I'm taking a border strip of these cute little Easter eggs. Of course, the off cut I used on the left hand side of the spread. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. Now I'm going to add this adorable little basket of Easter eggs straight to it because, you know, you just can't have enough Easter eggs on a spread about Easter. So I'm going to go ahead and mount that up using some foam squares. I'm going to put that to the right hand side and that's going to serve as my anchor as I'm building out that cluster. Now I'm going to add this little carrot and then another label that says Easter eggs, just a little bit of Tombow Mono there on one side and then another foam square on the other side so that it can stand up to the height of that cute little Easter basket. These are just adorable icons. I love them. I The reason I like themed layouts, and I don't know why I don't make them more often, is every now and then it's just fun to be whimsical with your scrapbook design. So I'm an eclectic scrapbooker. I like it all. And so this was a really great way to not only stretch my creativity, but also just to kind of remember how I started with scrapbooking because my scrapbook pages initially were all very much themed. Alrighty, so to finish this up, I added a floral cluster there to the top photo along with a chipboard piece from the Allie Edwards little chipboard set that says Easter fun. That's kind of repeated on my layout, but I don't care <laughs> at this point. Um, I also add another little flower just to bring a tiny bit of orange there to the top. Then I stopped recording the video because I felt that the layout needed something else. So I grabbed my trusty tab punch because when in doubt, just create a tab. And I used a couple of pieces of the pattern paper to create a tab there to the right as well as to the left of the layout. I'm also using these daily flash alphas from October afternoon back in the day. They're my favorite and I keep hoarding them. And I add a tab to the top and use those alphas to spell out eggs. I also type up my journaling on some journaling strips and there's the other tab so that I can put the year that this story occurred. And I call this layout done. The journaling reads, the Hawthorne Meadows HOA hosted a small Easter egg hunt for the children in our subdivision. Corinne dressed for the occasion, complete with makeup, a new spring dress, and her avocado purse, an early Easter gift. Armed with her basket, she grabbed a ton of candy-filled eggs. This was really a fun event, and she had a blast, and she really did. We all had fun getting to know our neighbors and being out on a beautiful spring day. This video was made possible in part by the Victoria Marie Scrap Boss patrons. If you're looking for exclusive Victoria Marie content that you can't find anywhere else and you want to support Victoria Marie Designs, click the link down below in the description box to learn more. And as always, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button when you do click the bell indicator, that way you'll know each and every time a new video is posted to this channel.